वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल हज टेक इन माई लास्ट वीडियो आई हैड टोल्ड यू अबाउट द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एच टी एम एल एंड आई हैड टोल्ड यू ऑल्सो डेट हाउ टू यूज द बेसिक टैग्स ऑफ एच टी एम एल इन विच वी हैड स्टार्टड एच टी एम एल हैड टाइटल एंड हैड क्लोज इट वी हैड क्लोज एच टी एम एल एट द एंड देर वॉज इट्स व्यू एंड आफ्टर डैट वी हैव सीन इट्स सोर्स and that source was absolutely same with notepad so let's start in my video today i will continue the basic tags of html that will be used very much so let's start without wasting more time the first tag of today is h1 for this it is much necessary that whenever you start a tag then keep it in between less than and greater you can give any title of your own my first title when you are closing the tag then forward slash is necessary in last between them which indicates that a tag is closing after this we save it whatever change you make you have to save it and it is very necessary to refresh the page make it your routine you can see the title which was given if you look at its source then you can see the code of title here also click on view source and you can see this heading basically used for titles suppose you are creating a blog you can give its title in h1 or you can give title of any page you will be noticing another thing in its it has a specific size and particular height it is default css whatever tag you use its default setting will apply we will study it in detail that what is default css and how can we change it as if you want to change its color or size next tag is h2 basically we can write from h1 to h6 so let's write h2 you can use any content as you're liking my title number 2 and we're going to close h2 save it and then see the results size of its title is different there is a difference between both of their sizes now as we will increase the number of h its size will be decreased you will be thinking about which tag will be used when so there is a overview of every tag yet in the last we will make a complete page and will use all tags at different places in it my another tag sorry title at h3 so now save it and see the results what happened now i write h4 tag and along with it i write h5 and h6 you can give any headings and can also see its source so let me write h4 tag and then h5 any title of your own choice there's no problem at all closing h5 and uh, h6 tag closing h6 now save the file refresh and you can see all h6 tags are there you can see the source it's also same next tag is paragraph tag we can call it p tag also now if i make it a bit simple and if we design it as blog post i write another h1 and give it the name of my blog title and after that we write tag p my blog title and then we can write p tag you can write 
anything inside it. We started and ended also like other tags. And p tag. You can see it's starting and ending. Now save it and uh, refresh it and you can see the paragraph. Now I paste it by copying it multiple times. Then I refresh it after saving so you can see the results. Now I write another paragraph and add any content also in it so that the understanding of the paragraphs may get more clear. Now add any content, close the paragraph, save it and refresh. Now you can see that both the paragraphs are looking separate. Now the next tag is br tag. It is used to separate the paragraphs or lines. It cannot be used separately so its effect will not be clear. So if we want to break any line of the paragraph means you want to shift the text from there to the next line then you will use and write there the tag of br. It's raining outside so I continue my video here. Now get back to work. It is the single pair tag which has only starting. When we will check it after saving then you can use that next line will start right from there. You can see the its effect exactly where you have applied the tag. Now we move on to the next tag. If I want to draw the line after the first title so that both means first and second title may get separated. For this we will use HR tag. HR is also non paired tag. If you don't know about the paired and non paired tag then I t had told about that in my previous video. You can check it. I want to use title below there. So I need to add code here below H1 my first title use HR and uh, just save it. You can see a clear line which has separated the both. If you have, have a look upon its source so you can see its complete coding. If you don't understand about anything regarding it, you can ask in comments. Now, the next tag I'm going to tell you about is very important for those who are learning HTML. And the tag name is comments. HTML comments. Main purpose of it is that whatever coding you have done, you can mark it. That which code has been used for what purpose. If you have just write anything like this then user will be unable to see anything on the page. It will be only for the use of the developer. You can write anything in it for that you may have remembered. As I write my title starts here then I will remember that the title has started right from here. Uh, make it a little wider so we can see it easily. Now if we check it nothing has changed but if you will have a look upon its source then you can see its code. This was our video for today in which I told you about more tags as h1 hr from h1 to h6 and then about p tag. We studied and also about html components we have learnt. Moreover its usage will be clear with the passage of time when we will design the complete page after studying about all tags. You should be clear about the usage of every tag. Hope you like my video today. Next video will be over adding image in the web page. Feel free to ask any question or about any tag in the comments and subscribe my channel to have a notification of my upcoming videos. See you then. Goodbye.